Hello, welcome to Your City at Work. Today we're going to focus on the Jonesboro Parks and Recreation Department, which also includes the cemeteries. Um, the director for the parks is Wixon Huffstetler. Wixon, how are you doing? Doing good, Jack. How are you? I'm great. Um, Wixon, tell us the general goal of the Jonesboro Parks and Recreation Department. Our goal, Jack, is to uh, provide a place for uh, youth and adults to be able to play athletics, first off. And second off is just a place for families to be able to go to facilities to have, you know, recreation activities, parties, and just spend family time together. Okay. Now, I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me when I say that a lot has changed over the past few years, in particular um, since Mayor Perrin's been in office. Uh, can you go over some of the changes that we've seen over the past couple of years? Sure. First of all, the city of Jonesboro has been very blessed with the mayor and the direction he's seen for the city. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, to have a, a, a mayor that has the qualities that he has and the vision he has is, is unbelievable. Uh, under, the, under the mayor's um, sight and plan, I guess, he, uh, <clears throat> one of the biggest changes has been in the last year is the Southside Softball Complex. We uh, have tore down the youth concession stand and we're in the process of rebuilding a new one right now. Uh, we've done major work to the fields out there. Uh, it's just a great atmosphere right now for these girls and for the adults, uh, softball kids out there. Uh, another thing we've done is we've built two new pavilions out at uh, Craighead Forest Park that, that were wood. We tore down and made steel, so now they'll be last forever, and they're huge. They're great for any family outings, church outings, uh, any business outings. And along with that, we uh, have tore down a bathroom facility, and we're redoing it, and now it's going to be heated and cooled. It's to be opened year-round for our runners, bikers, and anybody else that's using uh, the facility out mm -hmm. there. Uh, another thing we've done is he has uh, built two new city cemetery entrances, which is now a historical cemetery on the map. Uh, mm -hmm. They're great. They're, they are uh, brick columns with wrought iron fencing and an arch over it says City and Cemetery. It really, really makes that cemetery look good. Uh, and the last thing that we've done is he announced that we're going to build a miracle field for the city of Jonesboro. Mm -hmm. uh, miracle field, for people who don't know, is a field that is for mentally and physically handicapped kids and adults to be able to play baseball, softball, uh, but not only are they going to be able to play that, we're going to build a field that's big enough to accommodate every sport so we don't leave any child out or adult to play anything they want. And also we're going to have a monster or a huge playground <laughs> facility. Sure. Uh, and that's a major <laughs> announcement. I know there's a lot of uh, community support for this Miracle League field. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll hear more about that as we progress through the project. Um, uh, speaking of some, some of the facilities, Jonesboro is, is home to a lot of different community centers and parks and um, recreation facilities. Can you name some of those for us? Yeah, I can. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give name and, and actually location, too. Okay. Uh, first, we have Joe McCampbell Park, which is on Dan Avenue uh, by the interstate. It hosts our baseball and uh, soccer fields. Uh, next, we have uh, Southside Softball Complex, which is on South Caraway or South Stadium. It lays in between, and that's also where the Miracle Field is going to be uh, put at. And also, we have cricket out there. So uh, <laughs> cricket is growing in Jonesboro, actually. Yeah. It's, it's a fun sport to watch. Next, we have Earl Bell Community Center, which is our oldest community center and probably one of the oldest uh, facilities in the city of Jonesboro. It's been there since 1903. Uh, used to have horses in front of it. it was, it's a really, we have a really neat picture of the old Earl Bell in there, but it's on South Church Street, kind of the center of town. Uh, next, we have Parker Park, which is on uh, North Main Street. It's one of our community centers that has uh, two basketball courts, a community center you can rent to host events, and also outdoor uh, playground. Uh, next will be Allen Park, which is another same community center as Parker Park, and it's located on Ray Street. We have Craighead Forest Park, which is on South Cobra House, which is for your hiking, biking, walking, running, uh, pavilions for events. Uh, we have 80 Acre Lake out there to fish in. It's just a very great facility. And then on, but other than that, we have 17 just neighborhood parks around the city. Okay. And obviously for a full list of these and a uh, list of all the amenities that can go to your website. That's correct. Um, now, of course, all of these facilities, they don't run themselves. Um, I would assume that you would have a, a good crew, a good um, staff that helps you maintain and, and run these facilities. Yes, we do. We're uh, <clears throat> The Parks Department is probably one of the largest departments in the city of Jonesboro. Uh, we have a great crew of, of people that work, a large crew of people. We uh, it, At uh, full capacity, we run about 55 employees. So mm -hmm. uh, we're very blessed to have great employees to help maintain these parks. Uh, they do anything from mowing, weed eating, to just, you know, maintain the beautification of the parks and uh, helping maintain the playground and equipment, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, and I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to go back to the previous question that I asked you about the facilities mm -hmm. where you mentioned Craighead Forest. Um, can you give us some specifics about Craighead Forest, maybe what it's being used for? Uh, yeah, you know, 
a lot of a lot of towns, bigger towns that you go to in the state, Craig, uh, a place like Craighead Forest is owned by the state. Mm-hmm. Here at Jonesboro, we're blessed that it's actually city owned and operated. So uh, to have a, a, a place like Craighead Forest is just outstanding. It's 690 acres, Jack. Uh, like I said, it has all kind of walking trails, hiking trails, either on road or off road. We have an ATV in center. Uh, that's for you know outdoor adventures whether it be ATVs, dirt bikes, uh, even horseback riding. We've had horseback riding out there. Uh, then we have all the pavilions that we have out there for church outings, for business meetings, for or just any you know, family oriented things. And then we have Fort Rotary which is a huge attraction out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rotary Club built a huge playground fort that's it's unbelievable yeah. for people to go look at. <clears throat> and then we also have what we call a splash pad. It's for the younger kids. It's a little water park type thing uh, that water comes out of uh, buckets and sprays you and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. Now, and there's one thing um, that I'd like to mention here is that uh, previously, uh, here in the, the past, um, the Nettleton, or not Nettleton, but the East Labs in general, mm-hmm. built you guys an app and a, yes. a big center where you can find... Uh, it's just a big map that shows you where everything is. All That's the correct. Trails. When you first pull into Craighead Forest Park, you'll see like a little, uh, uh, little awning with a, a big map of Craighead Forest mm-hmm. Park. And the East Lab was the kids were very great on this. They built a app for actually iPhones that you can download, and it'll show all of our hiking, walking, running, fuller trails. Mm-hmm. And also, you can hand pick up a hand brochure there at that center. Mm-hmm. Now um, you mentioned some of the projects that are that that we've seen over the past couple of years, uh, and some of the projects that we're currently working on. Um, speak on some of those in particular, uh, and how all of it it gets planned and the planning process goes in general. Well, right now at Craighead Forest Park, we're rebuilding a bathroom facility. Uh, the bathroom facility that was there was over 30 years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was it was time for it to go. Uh, we couldn't keep it open year round because it was made of wood. Uh, mm-hmm. Termites had got in it, and just the the moisture and everything else had made the building go down. So. Uh, right now we're we're rebuilding it. Uh, we have the um, you know the foundation laid. It's going to be a center block building that's going to be open year round with heat and cooled. So you know something like that there is planning, but it's not a big deal. But this new concession stand facility at Southside, it's going it's it's a big planning process because it's going to be a big thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the concession stand, we're going to have an outdoor seating area that's going to be where the parents and kids can sit under the shade mm-hmm. with fans, a TV, cool off, eat. Uh, also, we're going to have an indoor walkthrough concession, so you're not outside standing in the heat. You're right. actually inside uh, purchasing food, drinks, etc. Nice. Uh, on top of that, we're going to have a men's and women's uh, locker room just for the umpires so they can get changed and dress, and also my director of softball's office and conference room. Okay. Uh, and the good thing about this facility is, is all of our amenities are going to be uh, ADA accessible, so th- there will be everything for handicapped people, too. Awesome. Um, now, the one of the major components for Jonesboro Parks and Recreation is our youth sports programs. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, very, very broad. We we offer a, a handful of um, different sports for all different ages. Can you tell us about those? Yes, we're very blessed to have a program called City Stars. Uh, it is actually a free program and more one of three in the nation still left that has this to offer. Uh, I will say this, without the staff that I have, uh, Danny Capellas, who's the CSR director, you know, I don't know if we could do this. We have an outstanding staff, first off, on this. Mm-hmm. But we offer basketball, baseball, softball, um, soccer, and kickball right now. Uh, in every, it seems like every f- sport in every season, whether it's fall, winter, spring, or summer, we grow. Mm-hmm. Uh, from soccer in the fall, or actually soccer in the summer, we had 275. In the fall, we had 1,100. Ooh. So, I mean, we just multiplied mm-hmm. just, you know, drastically in basketball we went from 500 this winter to 790 so uh, you know we're growing every week in every sport uh, the more kids are getting involved the parents are getting the kids involved you know and it keeps them out of trouble which that's what we're after absolutely and that's a great thing that uh, you see this growth um, but coming with that growth is the need for help uh, and I'm sure the mm-hmm. Parks Department has a need for volunteers. Yeah, Jack, we need vo- all kind of volunteers. You know, as we grow, we need more and more volunteers. We need coaches, we need referees, we need clock keepers. Uh, you know, the bigger we get, the more kids are involved, so the more teams we have, and we just need a lot more help. Absolutely. Now, if someone is interested in taking advantage of a uh, volunteer opportunity mm-hmm. or even just getting involved in general or uh, getting their kids involved, mm-hmm. how might they go about contacting uh, They can go to uh, Earl Bell facility and, and ask for Danny Capalis or call 870-933-4604 and get a hold of him. He is our City Stars director and he will and he will help out. Okay. Now, uh, think long term here. What do you foresee for the Jonesboro Parks and Recreation Department? Well, Jack, I've lived here all my life. <clears throat> uh, I'm a Jonesboro native. I love Jonesboro and, I'm, and I can't tell you how excited I am to be the Parks Director for City of Jonesboro. 
But my foresee of Jonesboro and the vision, especially under Mayor Perrin's uh, lead here, is you know I would say in the next 10 years that the Parks Department will will double, maybe triple in size. I can see us building more parks, more community centers to uh, to accommodate areas that we don't have. The thing about these community centers is that they're in places where the kids and families can walk to. They don't have to drive. And so that's a huge benefit to these to Jonesboro is the placement of these community centers. But I really do. I see us growing uh, really fast in the next 10 years because I know the city of Jonesboro is growing very fast. Sure, absolutely. Well, uh, Wixon, thanks again for coming in, sitting with us and telling us about your department. Um, again, if you if you're looking for more information, always go to the website at www.jonesboro.org. Uh, in particular, if you want to go to the parks, just go to the apartments, select the parks. Uh, it takes you to their website. Again, Wixon, absolutely thank you for coming in and sitting down with us. Thank you, Jack. And thank you guys for watching Channel 24.